Hey guys, it's Robin, and I've been talking to a few people who are struggling with using crutches. Um, and so I wanted to just talk a little bit about balance and how to get up from a chair using crutches. So you, if you follow me, you know I'm really into health and fitness, and I love exercise. And I normally do exercise videos daily, but uh, I'm a little limited right now because I actually ripped my Achilles tendon being active and having fun. So um, I'm a little limited right now and I'm using crutches. Um, but one thing that I've always worked on is balance. And no, my balance has never been great. And if you watch some of my old videos, you'll see me falling over trying to do balance moves. Um, but balance does really come in handy when you're using crutches. And I'm gonna show you a couple of my tips that I learned through you know, working on my balance, doing um, workouts, and how they help me. Okay, so I'm gonna, first I'm gonna show you how I, I'm gonna sit down, and I have a couch and a chair to, to show you, because it's a little bit different with both. Um, a couch is a bit harder because it's typically a bit lower, so harder to get up from, um, and a, a little bit harder to get down to, but it's also more stable, like I can you know, push against it and it's not going anywhere. So when I sit down on the couch, I put my leg right against it because that has gonna help my balance. So my good leg is braced against the couch, which is very secure because it's heavy and it's against the wall. Uh, I'm gonna put my crutches in, in one hand and because I have an armrest, I'm gonna put my other hand on the armrest. So I don't have to keep my balance for very long, but some things that do help with balance and even if you're you know not injured and you just wanna work on your balance and you wanna do some that, some exercises and you're having trouble keeping your balance during them, keeping your core tight is really key. That is seriously gonna help your balance. And also another tip is to focus at a point, you know, a little ways in front of you and just keep your eyes focused there. That is gonna help your balance, okay? So I've picked a spot on the floor and I'm just gonna keep looking at it, okay, to keep my balance. So uh, I don't have to keep my balance for long because I can reach back with my arm for the armrest I'm gonna put my sore leg out in front of me just to protect it, and then I'm gonna lower myself down. That's all there is to it, okay? Getting, then I just put my crutches down, I put my foot up, and I'd relax. Getting back up is just the reverse. I like to use both crutches in one hand to give me a little bit of something to hold on to and a little bit of uh, balance support while I get up. I can use the armrest of the couch to make it easier. Again, I'm gonna have my leg. You, it depends on if you have trouble getting up. I like to have my leg braced against it if you find it easier to come to the edge of the couch to get up, but I would recommend you have your foot close to the, ed to the um, edge of the couch so that when you stand up, you're gonna be close to it and uh, it's gonna give you that little extra support, okay? So when I stand up, my, my leg is uh, against the couch, even though I moved my bum forward on the seat to get up. So same thing, I'm gonna find a spot on the floor to focus on and I'm gonna really tighten my core. Then I'm gonna shift one crutch under this arm, one crutch under this arm, okay? And now I'm good. I have the support of the crutches, okay? I have my balance. But I'm still gonna keep my core tight because it's still important. Um, I forgot what I was gonna say there, but there was a, some kind of point. So just, I don't know. Anyway, maybe it'll come to me. So now I'm gonna show you just sitting in a, a regular, like a kitchen chair. They're usually a little firmer, a little, a little bit higher, so they can be easier to get up and down from. I don't have any with arms, um, but if you have one with armrests, that makes it even easier, of course. So I would just start walking, be off and running, but I'm gonna back up to this chair. Okay, not literally running, <laughs> not these days. Yeah, I'm just gonna back up to this chair. And um, same thing, I'm gonna find my balance, find a spot on the floor to look at, tighten my core so that I can bring the, the crutches out from under my arms, transfer them to one hand. Okay, I'm really working on my balance while I do that. Then I'm gonna reach down for the seat of the chair, okay, and then put my leg out, sit down. Once you've got a hand on something else, you know, you're probably pretty stable. Okay, getting back up and getting the crutches under. It is a little bit harder, I think, from a chair. It's easier to stand up, but it's not as stable, so it's a little bit harder to keep your balance. So you just have to focus on it more. So standing up, so same thing. If you wanna to come to the front of the chair, 
put your foot underneath you a little bit so that you have you know really good leverage to get up using that strong leg and you can push up with your arm on the chair and also your hand on the crutches as well okay so get your balance tighten your core find a spot on the floor and focus on it move one crutch under one arm and the other crutch under the other arm okay that's it that's all there is to it and you know if you're feeling really unsteady the first few times you do it have somebody with you you know so that they can catch you um, you know if you start to lose your balance it's just gonna give you that confidence boost to know that you can do it so then all you're gonna do is start moving move your crutches forward and swing through so I've, I'm also planning to do a video just you know me walking with my crutches outside and getting in and out of a car those are other requests I've had but we have a ton of snow here today which is crazy but um, so that won't be today that'll be sometime after the snow melts so I hope this was helpful I hope you guys all have a great day and if you don't have an injury you have no excuse you better be doing something active today get out enjoy your body move it and you know do something fun so